welcome um i'm not sure there's too much to vlog today so if there is a vlog it would be very random and there would be no storyline to it but i figured i'd rather get videos out for you guys um even though there's nothing special so hopefully you still enjoy it and we'll see how it goes <laughs> Now I've just done my first ever Nutribullet soup, I hope it turns out okay. I've just put lots of garden vegetables in there, a bit of pepper, a bit of herbs, um, some stock, vegetable stock and hopefully it turns out okay. We'll see how it goes I guess. Okay, here goes nothing. There we go. That looks like a pretty good consistency soup to me. Looks amazing actually. I'm really, really happy with that. It's a taste test. That's actually really good. I might add a bit of, just a pinch of salt, but that's really yummy. I'm, I'm so impressed. Um, that's the easiest soup I've ever made. So it's really cool. Thanks, Nutri Pullet. <laughs> this is not an advertisement, by the way. Um, it's just my first week having a Nutri Pullet, and I thought I'll try all sorts of different stuff. And I'm absolutely loving it. It's probably the um, best kitchen appliance I've had so far. <laughs> Hello. So it's a beautiful 20 degrees today, and we figured it's probably the best day ever to clean the spa. Scott's gone to take Luca swimming so it's just Daniela and I and as you see um, our spa is super dusty. Um, I think the cover itself definitely needs a clean and Scott's actually already drained the spa so most of the work's done for us. Yeah, um, there's still some water. There's there. always going to be water pulling up in the bottom which is a pain to clean um, and then we're gonna shammy it up getting it nice and nice and sparkly yeah, that's um, pretty much so we can have a nice clean spa to use in the spring um, and yeah fresh water and then it's gonna be really nice I'm really excited because I really miss the spa since um, it's been drained and so yeah Okay, well the spa is all open as you can see um, there's that pool of water we need to get out first um, before we can chamois him up, her up and clean it. Now um, even though it's 20 degrees today, it is absolutely freezing in here. Um, the pool of water is freezing my feet so uh, this is a lot nicer to do in the summer I'll tell you that much but we're going to get it done because we need the spa ready for the spring so we will get it done. Ellie doesn't like that. It's so cold. So first we need to get all the little pool of water out. Um, probably the hardest bit is to get the last bit of water that's stuck in the spa out. It's probably what takes the longest about cleaning the spa. Um, anyone thinking about getting a spa, I still recommend it because they are so wet. Even the maintenance involved. Okay, can you on it? Will this go? No, I'm going to make my smoothies weird. That would be gross, wouldn't it? She <sighs> found the attachment for the neutral. But yeah, like I said, this is probably the most tedious part. Um, but look, I'm almost through the first part, so it's not that bad. Um, Probably the hardest part is um, because I'm doing this in spring and my I'm sorry I'm doing it in winter and my feet are freezing. So um, usually once you scoop the majority of the water out in the corners, um, then you have to use a towel to actually um, soak up lots of it. So what I do is I just scoop up the corners and then soak it up in the towel. 
also a really hard part is the middle because there's also lots of water that gets trapped in the middle and that's the hardest part to scoop so um, that takes probably more soaking than towels to get that water out. Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of water on this side. Oh, cold. <laughs> okay, we got um, this is kind of boring, so we might catch you later um, when we're on another part of the spa cleaning adventure. <laughs> Pretty proud that we've done the hardest part. That pool of water in the middle is completely gone. We only use one whole towel soaking um, and then one dry one to just finish it off. You can see most of the pools of water are gone. We just have little bit left and we're almost up to step two. I know what you're thinking why aren't we using a hose to siphon up um, glass of water? Well our siphon hose is usually used for the fish tanks uh, for the turtles so obviously we shouldn't be mixing um, the water we use for human bathing with the fish tank hose and um, I don't like the thought of siphoning water into my own mouth. It grosses me out so this is just how I do it. This is how I've always cleaned my so this is how we're doing it okay so we have completed the first stage and as you see there is no more water left in the spa anywhere um, yes there is but is there? we did as we did as much as we could yeah I think we did a pretty good job okay we are finally finished now I'm gonna show you what it looks like it's pretty cool so there is it's really really cool so as you can see the spa is filling back up what you do is you just have to remove the filter and then you what you do is you fill it through the filter so as you can see the water's coming out of the jets and how long does it take to um warm up once it's full Yeah, it's going to take a while, so we won't be able to use it for a while, but that's okay. As you can see, the uh, spa is now filling up properly. What Sandra did is she put it in the hole. See how that's in a water softener contraption thing there? I don't know if you see that, see that white thing plugged in? That's what you really should be putting it in. So then the water... Uh, is in softening so it's not hard water and now it's filling up through the filters which is the best way to do it we'll start filling up from the bottom rather than just uh, shoving the water in um, so Sandra did an okay job of cleaning it there's a few spicks and specks here and there but uh, that's okay once we treat the water it should be all good to go I'm just going to make a bit of a smoothie. I'm just going to use the last this tropical smoothie mix, but there's not much, so I'm going to throw in some diced mango. So I'm just going to wash my kale and spinach. Even though it's washed, I still always wash it. Actually, oh, I should put the coconut water in first. What the hell is this? Cocoa latte? I bought cocoa latte instead. See that? This is why you should read before you buy something. So it turns out I have bought four cocoa lattes instead of cocoa water. Let me taste it. And it tastes disgusting. So... I might go return them. Um, I can't return this one because I've already opened it. Um, but I'm going to take my receipt and return the other three and swap it for coconut water. So that was really, really stupid. So I'm just going to use um, just fresh water, pure tap water instead. Wash some more kale. I've thrown out the other ones that taste like crap. Half a banana. I'm gonna add some nuts. I'm just using my mixed nuts. 
too many. I don't actually like the taste of much, but it's good for me. I'm just going to add some more water to the fill line, like he recommends. Let's see if it's any good. Oh, yum. That's amazing. I really don't know how I got this wrong because this is what I got last time. It obviously looks like water. Normal water. And this is what I got four of this time. So it's very obviously um, not just normal water. This is why you should not shop with a very distracting 15 month old that just wants to run around and not see in the um, trolley. But that doesn't explain why I didn't notice until I put it in. So that was really silly of me. Coco Latte, lovely. Thanks so much for watching again, guys. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button down the bottom. And we'll see you next time. Bye.